hello my name is Laura today I'd like to share with you my eighth Nadine West bag if you are unfamiliar with Nadine West this is a clothing subscription service they send you a bag full of clothes and accessories once a month or every two weeks if you prefer for nine dollars and seventy eight cents and that nine dollars and seventy eight cents gets credited towards whatever you choose to keep so you try everything on you keep what you like and you send back what you don't I find that Nadine West is the most affordable clothing subscription service out there and subscription services in general I think are extremely convenient especially for those who do not have the time or energy to leave the house to go clothes shopping or if you're like me and you live two hours from the nearest mall or Walmart or anything like that this is the way to go to get new clothes so I am going to try everything on in this bag I will show you everything and then I will let you know what I decided to keep so I'd also like to share with you that today's bag only has seven items in it. My last three bags actually had 16 items, and then all of my past bags have had at least over 10. So this one is a little small, a little disappointing, but we will see what's inside anyway. All right, here's the first top. This is a DNA Couture brand uh, button-up shirt. It is a size small. And I think it's pretty cute. It's got these long sleeves that you can also roll up and button if you'd like. I like the pattern. It is very soft and stretchy, but it isn't anything that I absolutely love. And I have a lot of clothes. And so I'm trying to only keep those pieces that I really find that I love and that I know will fit in with other things in my wardrobe. And this is just not it. So this is something I will not be keeping. All right, here is the only other clothing item. This is a dress, halter top style, kind of a leaf pattern. And this is Sheila Rose brand, any size medium. Now I'm a little disappointed that they sent me a medium because up top it's just a little loose around the chest, which I always have problems with since I have a very small upper torso, very small chest. And I have my sizing set for tops to extra small and my bottoms I just recently changed to medium because I found that some of the bottoms were a little tight, but sending a medium dress is a little bit too big. So a little disappointed, although I love the actual dress. The pattern is fantastic. The colors go really well with my skin tone. So I am very torn on whether or not I want to keep this since it's the only other clothing item. So I will uh, maybe come back and look at this video and see how well I think it fits me and then I will make a decision and let you know. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the other items in the bag. These are all non-clothing items. So this is a scarf that they sent me. And the way that the tag hangs on it, I can't actually open the scarf because of the way the tag is attached. It is a like tan and brown patterned scarf, uh, very thin and sheer. It is pretty cute and I like that it's in neutrals, which means it would match a lot of things, but I just don't really wear scarves. I own a few. Um, but I actually wrote on my uh, quiz that you take for Nadine West that I do not want any scarves, so I'm surprised that they sent me one. But anyway, there it is. So I'm going to show you the last four items in the bag. All four items are jewelry pieces. All four are also earrings. And jewelry always comes in these little cute pink bags, and that just kind of keeps everything contained because it's really easy for things to get a little messed up in shipping. So here is the first pair of earrings. These are Marin Elena brand rose gold colored earrings. They're actually posts, but they are um, dangly. And I actually think that these are pretty cute. They are $17.99. I'll be thinking about these ones. I'm not sure if I like them enough for that price, but we'll see. Next up, we have this pair of silver Sheila Rose brand hoops. They're pretty cute. And when I say silver or rose gold or anything, it's actually just the color of the metal. I am sure they are not real gold or anything. Nothing on the packaging says so to make me believe otherwise. Um, these are also $17.99. Not a huge fan of hoops. I hardly ever wear them. And I definitely don't think that this particular type is worth that price. They're, they're pretty, um, I can tell that they're pretty cheaply made. Next up is another Sheila Rose brand pair of silver hoops. Again, not a big fan of hoops. Probably won't be keeping these. They are also $17.99. These are a little bit more heavy, um, feel a little bit more solid unlike the other pair. So these might actually be worth the price. And last but not least, I have another pair of earrings. This is Tara brand. These are a dangly style black and gold earrings. And I actually think these are really cute, but my packing slip says, that I'm supposed to have a necklace that is $39.99. So I don't know what these earrings cost, 
But actually out of the bag, I think this might be the only thing I would even want to keep. And so I'm going to email customer service, ask them what these earrings cost, then make a decision on whether or not I want to keep them. And then uh, also let them know that they did not send me the necklace. And so that is something you have to do every once in a while with Nadine West is email customer services. If anything's even slightly off in your bag because you want to make sure you are getting charged correctly. Because if I choose to keep these earrings, I don't want them to think I kept a $40 necklace. And so I will be emailing them. They usually always email me back within like an hour of me sending the email. And they almost always give me a discount for any inconvenience that a mistake on their end caused. So I'm pr I've been pretty satisfied with Nadine West's customer service so far. All right, so to wrap everything up, I have um, decided to keep these earrings depending on the price that Nadine West tells me, so I will email them, and then I will write something down below that lets you know whether or not I ended up keeping them and what the price was. This dress, I. I really want to keep, but I just can't get over that the size isn't perfect. And where it is a $40 dress, I do want the dress to fit perfectly without me having to alter it. So I don't think I will be keeping this, although I really do think that it is super cute. And so that is everything. And if you out there would like to try Nadine West for yourself, I will link in the description a code that you can use. It's a coupon code for $10 off as well as free shipping. And so when you sign up for Nadine West, you will pay nothing for your initial package and you will get $10 credit towards anything that you do choose to keep. If you liked this video, please do me a favor and click on the like button as well as subscribe to my channel if you would like to continue seeing content such as this and hit the bell notification icon so that you know when a new video is released. Thanks for watching.